I found five fragrances for a cheap price that smell expensive. Starts with Lalique Anka Noir. The reason why is my nephew, Robbie, who's got a brother named Johnny, they're both my nephews. They said, hey, Uncle Chris, you know the kind of style I like, and I'll tell you his style. He's 37 years old. Robbie is in a more relaxed state. He likes happier things and happier fragrances. And his brother, Johnny, my other nephew, he's more into organic foods, hippie style things. He's very, very particular. He would not like Versace Eros or anything like that. So for Johnny, I'm gonna re recommend, look at that boat. Yeah, one of these days, we'll all be on a party boat. You'll get to meet me. For Johnny, I'm going to recommend Ancre Noir. It basically smells like death. Someone said, said that to me once, like a Darth Vader. But really, when I smelled it early this morning, it smelled like smoky ash, and it dried down to a beautiful vetiver. And Johnny loves it when I tell him about different organics because he likes to chop up cilantro and put them in his healthy salads and makes fresh guacamole with all these different spices and herbs. Not that it's spicy and herby, but he likes something more organic and natural. But again, this fragrance is not for everyone. This is more for a person that's an enthusiast that wants to smell it on his own. Personally, I don't wear this, but I will recommend it as far as the fragrance the aroma that it produces is elegant and advanced, and it's more for like you, a melancholic depression sort of thing. The next fragrance, I'm gonna tell you what Robbie's gonna wear in a second, but the next fragrance I wanted to bring to your attention is called Dunhill Icon, and this has petty grain oil in it. What is petty grain oil? It's almost like a bitter orange note alongside some clean lavender. It was made in the early part of 2015 by Alfred Dunhill. He brought on a new director at that time. And then when you spray it, it instantly, have you ever had the rain fall on a nice spring morning and you're walking around and then the sun came out and fumes come off the earth and that's some sort of a fresh, sweet rain smell? That's what I get at the first instance. Other than that, it's, it does, it's a perfect office fragrance for everyday wear. This is not like this one, this is dark and deep, and this Dunhill Icon's perfect for office wear. Then for Robbie, who's always happy, I will choose you to wear Mercedes Benz Black, and don't get confused with the next one on the list called VIP Club Black Leather. These are two different fragrances, but for Robbie, he's always happy and he's gonna like black vanilla. It's got one of the most best vanilla notes I've ever smelled in any fragrance. Almost better than this Spice Bomb Extreme. Now, what does this have? This has incense. This doesn't have incense. Spice Bomb Extreme is a delicious vanilla spicy fragrance. It's not the most affordable the Ben's Black Vanilla Black Club is. The next one I would recommend you to get is called Chirathi Blue because it smells like Bulgari Taiga, which is a $1,000 fragrance, and this is like a $50 fragrance. It has a delicious fresh, authentic grapefruit note inside here, and it lasts for 12 to 15 hours. That's a brand new found I found late 2021 fall. And num number one fragrance for compliments, for smelling expensive on a budget to give you the millionaire lifestyle, VIP Club Black Leather Honorine Blank. Why do they call it the VIP club, Uncle Chris? Because Mercedes-Benz at the time, 2015-16, hired five of the best perfumers to make five different fragrances. I put the links down below to where you can get most of them. They're hard to find, but it's like $40 and it smells awesome. It also has incense in it and leather, and it's just awesome. It's been compared to Dolce Gabbana, the one eau de parfum. Hey, Uncle Chris, is that it? Can you give us a bonus? Sure, I'm going to give you a bonus. This fragrance is the number one fragrance. Hit like and subscribe if you like this video so far. Help that algorithm help us. And I'll take you on that boat to get up to 35,000 subscribers. This is the number one fragrance today. It's called Halloween Man X. It's got lavender, it's got coffee, it's got whiskey, it's got rum. It is loud, it lasts long. It punches through any day for a full eight hours. I love this fragrance so much. I'll put it on right now. Halloween Man X is fire. This is what Johnny wouldn't like because it's so mass appealing and so many compliments and so cool and so cheap all at once. 
Hope you love this. Bye.